thank you, oh God, for your blessings, oh God. Let your blessings consume us. Let your blessings overtake us. Let your blessings chase us down. Right now, oh God, let it chase us down, oh God. The miracles, oh God, let it manifest in our lives. Good evening, good evening, everyone. This is Apostle DeCore Green, the final overseer of Upper Room Kingdom Church. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. Pray each of you had a wonderful, wonderful day. So we're here again for day number five of our prayer and warfare, miracles, and divine surprises as part of our 21 day corporate fast. Amen. God bless you. Hello, hello everyone. This is folks starting to, to come on. God bless you. God bless you. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I am looking forward to Again, uh, again, the rest of this month and the things that are coming down the pipeline and things that are manifesting in your life, uh, the, 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 the wow, how God said he's going to wow us. So I'm, I'm excited as you continue to show up faithfully, uh, continue to pray in war and you staying on your post, not backing down. I'm telling you the damage that you have already done. If you just got a snapshot of it, uh, you just begin to rejoice because of how much uh, has been accomplished uh, in a realm with the spirit uh, for you being faithful in prayer and warfare, not backing down, uh, no matter what trap. Because the enemy's trying to let, let me, when I tell when I tell the enemy is desperate right now, uh, just all the different stories, different situations is going on. Different people I'm talking to, it's like the enemy is is they, they're they're running out of options. They're running out of options uh, because of, again how much damage is being done and the significant and the significance and magnitude of this hour, this season that we're in. So again, you know, prayers are first and last line of defense, and and, and you are part of a remnant of warriors that God is raising up for a time such as this that we're in we're living in right now as the great revival is upon us amen so again keep doing what you're doing don't back down uh keep praying keep warring keep getting that word spending that that intimate time with God and I'm telling you you will see rapid rapid acceleration things happening suddenly in your life because of everything that's being released the angels that are going to and for right now in the name of Jesus so Again, so I, so I just commend you for continuing to be faithful and keep showing up. So, all right, so, you know, we're here to take care of business. We're here to, to, to wipe out uh, every demonic troop that's still trying to come up against us. Uh, any new witches or warlocks or sources on the scene who, who picked up you as an assignment and was lied to about, um, about what that assignment really entailed or who they were really dealing with. So, uh, so we, we're here to take care of uh, some more business. Amen. All right, so, so are you ready to war? Are you ready to go to war? Are you ready to go to war? That's all I need to know. Are you ready? Are you focused? Are you locked in as we prepare to engage the enemy who has engaged us as we prepare to continue to wipe out any new demonic troops that are coming after us, our families? We are on post. We are not backing down. We're, we're, we're watchmen. On the wall, men and women, watchmen on the wall. We can see the enemy army coming, and we're not going to even give them a chance to get close. We're just going to take them out. We're going to take them out en route. Amen. We're going to take them out en route. Okay, let me see what's going on here on Periscope. Why it, uh, it went out there for a second, so let me get it back up. All right, all right. Amen, amen. I see folks saying that you're ready to war. All right, all right. So we should be... All right, we're back up and running on Periscope. Don't know what happened there, but amen. We, we're moving forward. Amen. So let's go, well, let's go to Psalm 69. And 24, remember, we're going to uh, partake in Holy Communion right after uh, we're done praying and warring. We're going to go directly into uh, Holy Communion right afterwards. Amen. All right, Psalm 69, Psalm 69 and 24 is our first prayer target coming from Psalm 69 
and 24. Here's what it says. It says, pour out your fury on them. Consume them with your burning anger. He's talking about the enemy, the enemy army that's trying to come up against us. This, this is what the psalm was saying. Pour out your fury on them. Consume them with your burning anger. With your burning anger. Anger, fully understand the wrath of God. Again, it's it's it, when you talk about the fire of God. The, uh, when when it comes, when it's being used as a weapon, it's it, it brings the it brings that it, it, it's God's anger, it's God's wrath, God's wrath that we that we can bring upon the enemy. So whenever whenever you sit in the fire of God, that's bringing God's wrath, God's vengeance upon the enemy. Amen. And so our first prayer target. Repeat after me. Oh God, my Father, thank you for consuming me with your burning fire of love. Pour out your fire of wrath and consume all my wicked enemies who are trying to destroy me. Pour it on them, Lord. Pour it on them in the name of Jesus. All right, one more time. With holy aggression, all seriousness. Oh God, my Father. Thank you for consuming me with your burning fire of love. Pour out your fire of wrath and consume all my wicked enemies who are trying to destroy me. Pour it on them, Lord. Pour it on them. Pour it on them. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray as I clap my hands. As we clap our hands, we're drawing the sword of the Lord. We're striking the enemy who's trying to come up against us. We're striking the enemy who's trying to destroy us. We're striking every demon, every witch, every warlock, every sorcerer who's trying to come for us, who's trying to attack us, who's trying to take us out. Oh God, let your wrath pour out your fire of wrath and consume all of our wicked enemies. Pour out your fire of wrath and consume all of our wicked enemies who are purposed, trying to destroy us. Destroy them, oh God. Pour it out on them. Pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath. They've sent curses saying we wouldn't prosper. They've sent curses trying to cause sickness in our body. They've sent curses trying to stop us from walking in destiny. They've sent curses trying to cause us to go backwards. They've sent curses trying to cause divorce. They've sent curses trying to prevent you from getting married. They've sent curses trying to get you to live in poverty. But oh God, destroy them. Pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath. For you said, touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. These are your anointed, oh God. These are your anointed children, men and women of God, that you've called, that you sent on earth, to carry out your will in the earth. And you see, oh God, the wicked enemies who's trying to stop them from carrying out the vision you place in their heart, who's trying to stop them from walking in a God-ordained destiny. Pour out your wrath on them. Pour out your wrath on them. Pour out your wrath on them. Oh God, you see them, oh God, trying to set traps along the way. Pour out your wrath on them. Pour out your wrath on them. You see them, you see them, you see them, you see them trying to trap us, oh God. Pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath upon all our wicked enemies. Every demon, every witch, every warlock, every sorcerer. We strike them. 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 Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Oh God, pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath. 
Pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath upon all the wicked enemies. Pour out your wrath. As they're plotting and planning to try to attack God. Oh God, pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath. As they're attempting to put our names in their mouths to send curses. Pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath. Pour out your wrath upon the wicked enemies. Upon all our wicked enemies. Pour out your wrath, oh God. Pour out your wrath. Who they have said. They have said that we will not prosper. They have said that we would fall. They have said that we would fail. Oh God, but it's Shall not happen. Pull out your wrath. Pull out your wrath. Pull out your wrath. Pull out your wrath. Upon all our wicked enemies. Let your fire fall on them. Pull out your fire of wrath and consume them. Consume all our wicked enemies. Consume them. Consume them. Let the fire locate them and consume them. Devour them. Wipe them out. Destroy them. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Those who find joy in your in your downfall. Let them be destroyed. Every wicked enemy. Every wicked enemy. Let them be destroyed. Oh God, send your fire of wrath right now. Right now. Right now. Let it consume our wicked enemies. Every demonic trooper that is trying to march against us. Who have gathered together. Who's made oaths against us. Oh God, let your fire of wrath strike them down. Strike them down. Strike them down. Strike them down. Every witch, warlock, or sorcerer who's made a vow and an oath that they will not eat until they kill us. Let your wrath fall on them, O God. For they cannot touch us. For no weapon that's formed against us shall be able to prosper. O God, let your wrath. Let it swallow them. Let your fire wrath swallow them. Let it swallow them. Let it destroy them. Let it wipe them out. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now, oh God, pull it on them. Pull it on them. If they try to run away, they try to go into hiding, oh God, pull your wrath on them. Pull your wrath on them. They can't hide. They can't hide from your fire. They can't hide from your fire. Every demon, every witch, every warlock, every soldier who's been working against our life, who's been working against our life, let your fire of wrath find them. Let it locate them and wipe them out. Pour it on them, Lord. Pour it on them. We pour the fire of God on them. We call the fire of God down from heaven. Pour it on them. Pour it on them. Let it rain. Let it rain fire. Let it rain fire on every demonic camp. Against every demonic troop. Over every witch's coven. Where they gather to meet the sin curses against you. Oh God, let the fire rain. Let it rain fire. Let it rain fire. No matter where they go. Let it rain. Let it rain fire. Let it rain fire. Let it rain fire. Fire and brimstone upon our wicked enemies. Let it rain fire. Let it rain fire. Fire. It's a fire party tonight. It's a fire party tonight. It's a fire party tonight. And we have some honored guests. We have some special guests tonight. Every witch, every warlock, every sorcerer, every demon that's trying to work against us. Tonight is tonight. It's a fire party. It's fireworks going on. It's raining fire. Fire on all your wicked enemies. On all our wicked enemies. We rain the fire of God. We rain it down. Let it rain down. Let it fall on their heads. Let it fall on their homes. Let it fall on their covens. Let it fall on their hiding place. Let it fall. Let it rain fire. 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 Fire upon all our wicked enemies. Now. 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 Wherever they may be. Across the globe. Let it rain fire on them. Let it rain fire on them. Let it rain fire on them. Enough is enough. They've done enough stealing. They've done enough Killing, they've done enough destroying, but not on our watch, not in our family. We say no more, no more, no more. If they come near you, let it rain fire. If they put your, your, your name in their mouth to sing curses, let it rain fire. Fire. If they try to inflict your body with, with, with disease, let it rain fire. If they try to send demonic serpents to bite at you, let
let it rain fire. If they try to feed you in your dreams, let it rain fire. If they try to have intercourse with you in your dreams, let it rain fire. Every curse they try to send your way, let it rain fire on them. Let it rain fire on them. Let it rain fire on them. Fire, 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 fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great job on our first prayer target. We mean business. Let them know you mean business. They're not going to back off until they recognize you mean business. And so they'll be keep being destroyed. They want to come for you. If they want to come for you. They're going to keep getting destroyed. They send a new set of troops getting destroyed. New witches on the scene. They don't know you, but they're going to find out they're going to be destroyed if they come for you. Because it's going to rain fire from heaven. The fight, God's wrath of fire shall rain on their heads. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our next prayer target. Psalm 69. Psalm 69 and 25. It says, let their homes become desolate and their tents be deserted. Let's talk about your enemies now. We talk about witches, warlocks, sorcerers who, who are coming after you, who are on assignment in your life. Who are on a summit to try to destroy you. Who are on a summit to try to bring you sorrow. Who are on a summit to try to terrorize you. It says, let their homes become desolate and their tents be deserted. See, it's time out for playing nice. You, you, you can't talk about I'm doing warfare and playing nice. Praying those nice prayers. Because when they sit in those curses and those incantations against you, they're not praying nice. They're, 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 they're praying unto Satan. They're sending out curses. And they're not playing nice. They're not playing cute. They're not trying to spare you. So we're not going to spare them. Again, I tell you, tell you, you get them before they get you. You get them before they get now. Now, when, when we're praying unto God, different, different, different me, demeanor, different, different, different set of uh, 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 how your orientation is different. But when you talk about the warfare. That's when you pull out the weapons. So I had a dream about several snakes the other night. They were everywhere, but I did not get bit. That's just witchcraft trying to be sin against you. So, we, so you need to send that fire on them serpents. So see, they're, they're not trying to play nice. And, and, and the fact that you're right, rise up, raising up more and more to become that warrior God's called you to be, now they put more assigned to you because you're that much more of a threat. But I tell you all the time, hell, it is an honor for hell to know your name. I'm going to say it again. It's an honor for hell to know your name because that means you've already caused damage. That means you've already caused, you have already caused damage. And they, they're getting more upset because they can't get to you because that wall of fire is too strong. It's too much. And the more you keep showing up, the more you're warring. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. You be eating every night in your dreams. You, you, you keep, you keep warring back. You, you have to let them know that you're not going anywhere. Catch those curses. Send the blood of Jesus to uproot those demonic seeds. Because they're just trying to stop your progress. Something that's on the brink of happening in your life. They're trying to, trying to feed you in your dream to try to stop it. So that's why, see, they're not playing nice. So we're not going to play nice. We're not going to play nice. They've been warned to repent. There's only two options. You understand for, for, for every witch, warlock, and soldier coming at you, there's only two watches. You're going to repent or you're going to die. If, if, if they, now, I can't speak for every child of God. But as for me and my house, they're coming for me. They're coming for us. you got two choices. You're going to repent or you're going to die. That, that's it. There's no middle. There's no in-between there. There is no in-between. Those are your only two options. So that, that notice has been served every witch, wall, and sorcerer. So they know. They know what time it is. So the same thing for you. If they're coming for you, they better know. you got two choices. You're going to repent. Better back up off. Repent. Or you're going to die. 
Simple as that. So our next prayer talk, repeat after me. Oh God, my Father, thank you for peace in my life. As every witch, warlock, and sorcerer who are trying to steal my peace go to their homes, snatch the smile off their faces, let their homes be filled with sorrow in the name of Jesus. We're about to say it one more time now. You understand that they want your homes to be filled with sorrow. They want to, they want, they want to torment you. They, they, they think it's a sick game. They're laughing when they're sending curse. They're laughing when they're blocking certain things. Okay. But, but, but guess what? Who do you think is going to get the last laugh? Who do you think is going to get the last laugh? We are going to get the last laugh because they didn't think you were going to strike back so, so harshly. They thought, well, them, they, they just going to show us love. They, just gonna, they ain't really going to mess with us like that because they're not going to come, come, come send a fire to kill us. They're not going to they do that because, cause, you know, they're supposed to love us. Oh, we, we, you've already been warned. The, the, the love is you, you, you have an opportunity to repent. But if you do not take that option that has been presented to you, you're going to die. So we make that clear to every witch, that especially we, we made that the theme this year. Witches get stitches. Simple as that. And we've said that body bags will be their portion. If you coming for me, you trying to kill, destroy, body bags will be your portion. Simple as that. They've already been warned. They're not, this, is not, this is not some new information here. It's already been put out. It's out in the spirit. It's out in the spirit. So they know this. So they're treading very thinly on the water. Just trying to see what they can get away with. But you must say it's not happening on my watch. You're not being sneaky. They're not coming back doing you. Bottom line, body bags will be their portion if they don't repent. All right, again, repeat after me. Oh, God, my Father, thank you for your peace in my life. As every witch, warlock, and sorcerer who are trying to steal my peace go to their homes, snatch the smile off their faces. Snatch the smile off their faces. Let their homes be filled with sorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Oh God, we thank you for peace. Your peace, oh God, that surpasses all understanding. We thank you for your peace, your peace, your peace. Let it follow us. Let it saturate us. Saturate us in your peace, oh God. Your joy, we thank you, oh God. We thank you, God, that our sorrow has turned into joy. That our sorrow has turned into joy. joy. Our mourning has turned into dancing. We thank you for it, oh God, that you wipe the tears from our eyes. Because it's not crying time. Right now, it's war time. Time, for we do war against every witch, every warlock, every sorcerer, every demon who's trying to attack us, who's trying to attack our families. Oh God, let your wrath come upon them. Take the smile off of their faces. They've laughed at us. They mocked us. They mocked you, oh God. They mocked your word. But you, you will have the last laugh. We shall have the last laugh against our wicked enemies. Right now, oh God, as they go to their home. Snatch the smile off of their faces. Smash the smirk and the grin off of their faces. Let their homes be filled with sorrow. Let them lay on pillows of thorns. Let them lay on a pillow of sorrow. For they decided that they would try to send curses against us. But the curses are coming back. Oh God, let it hit them before they put their head on the pillow. Before every witch, every warlock, Every sorcerer before they put their head on the 
pillow. Let the curse they try to send our way hit them in the face. Let it smack them down. Let it locate them. Let it take them out. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it strike them suddenly. Let it strike them suddenly. And in acceleration. As they're going to bed with a smile on their face. As they're laying down with a smile on their face. Let your wrath visit them. Take the smirk off their face. Take the smile off their face. And let their homes be filled with sorrow. Let their homes be filled with sorrow. Just as they, when the plague went out over the Egyptians. And all the firstborns were taken out. There was wailing and weeping and crying because of the plague that hit. Oh God sent a plague. Upon our wicked enemies Let a plague hit their homes Let it hit their homes Let it hit their homes Let it hit their homes They laughed when they lie down But the laugh is not funny anymore for them They don't have nothing to laugh at now But we get the last laugh They struck and they thought it landed But they took their eyes off of us And they didn't realize that those curses Those arrows are turning around And it's locating them It's locating them Oh God, we thank you for taking a smile off their face. They mocked us. They laughed at us. They taunted us. They threatened us. But we get the last laugh. Now we threaten them. But the thing is, we make do on our threats. We don't make idle threats. We pay up on our threats. Oh God, let your wrath locate every wicked enemy who's been trying to take us out, who's been trying to harm us, who's been trying to hurt us, who's been trying to destroy us, who's been trying to kill us, who's been trying to cause chaos in our lives. Oh God, let your wrath, let it find them. Let their homes be filled with sorrow. We send God's arrows of fire to strike them. We cut off their heads with the sword of the Lord. Every demonic serpent. We cut off their heads with the sword of the Lord. We cut off their heads with the sword of the Lord. And every seed that was sown overnight. We are rooted by the superior blood of Jesus Christ. Anything that they fed you in your dreams, we are rooted with the superior blood of Jesus Christ. Let that demonic waste come out. Let it come out. Let it come out now by fire. By fire. I command it come up and out. I command it come up and out. May the blood of Jesus flush out all demonic seeds that were deposited in your life overnight. Let it flush out all demonic waste that was deposited in your life overnight. Let it flush out the poison from any demonic serpents that bit you overnight. Let it come out now. Let it come out now. I pull it out by the superior blood of Jesus Christ. Let it come out. Let it come out. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Anything that connected itself to you that's not of God, I command a divine disconnect with the sword of the Lord. I cut it off. 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 Right now. 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 Let their homes, oh God, be filled with weeping and sorrow and sorrow and sorrow and sorrow and sorrow. They've been warned to repent or die. Some of them learned the hard way and body bags were their portion. Let it be an example to any other witch, any other warlock, any other sorcerer who want to cross that bloodline, who want to cross that, that wall of fire. If you dare, you enter at your own risk. You repent or body bags will be your portion. You repent or body bags will be your portion. Repent or body bags will be your portion. No mercy. No mercy. No mercy. No mercy. This means war. We were already declared war against who declared war against us. And we're not backing down. We're not going anywhere. We have on the full arm of God. We are suited and booted. And we are determined to stand tall. Until we see the manifestation of the victory. Until we see the manifestation of the prayers. We shall see it. We shall see it in the land of the living. We shall see it in the land of the living. As God prepares a table. Oh God prepare that table for us. In the presence of our enemies. Prepare that table. Prepare that table. 
in the presence of the enemies. Oh God, you said you were prepared for us. Prepared right now, oh God. Prepared right now, oh God. Prepared right now, oh God. In the presence of all our wicked enemies. They just decided that they want to cause our downfall. But oh God, you decided that we're on the rise. We're on the rise. We're moving up while they're going down. We're going up while they're going down. We're being resurrected while they're being buried. We're being resurrected while they're being buried. Bury them. Bury them. Bury them. Let the earth open up and swallow them. Bury them. Bury them. Bury them. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, our last prayer target. And we're going to go right in the Holy Communion right afterwards. So again, prepare your, uh, uh, your, your juice or your water, your crackers, your bread. Whatever you use and submit it unto God for holy use. Amen. It's going to represent the body uh, and the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, our last prayer target. Psalm 69. We can stay right here in Psalm. Psalm 69, verse number 26. See, it's it's powerful when you can pray the word of God. This with this, this we just we just we, we we're using the word of God against the enemy. It's right here. All this is right here in Scripture. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. The teacher said, "I just got a, a tenant evicted who was doing drugs in my hotel." Amen. Well, they they, they had to go. Amen. Prayers of the righteous availed much. Had to go, had to go, had to go. Bringing all them spirits out there. Psalm 69, 26 says, To the one you have punished, they add insult to injury. They add to the pain of those you have hurt. He said he had threatened me and I exposed him and, 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 and had him put out. Well, yeah, well, that was the first mistake he made is threatening you. And, well, now he's going bye-bye. Amen. It says, to the one you have punished, they add insult to injury. So you know it's when it seemed like I said yesterday that you're down and they're still trying to kick you. The, the, the enemy's still trying to, they, they, they say, oh, we got them. We weaken them. Let's try to finish them off. So it's adding insult to injury. Already injured. You already been inflicted. You already been weak, wounded, whatever. And then they're going to throw more at you. They're going to try to come at you some more. And it said they add the pain to those you hurt. Now, this psalm was really talking about sometimes it, it, it seems like, um, you know, he felt that God was inf afflicting him, etc. But we understand that the enemy is trying to afflict you, to try to get you, stop you from moving forward, to try to, or to try to bully you from you moving forward in the things of God. But we have something for them. Someone said, no, that's not Bible said that we're doing our prayer and warfare part of our 21-day fast this week. And next week, uh, doing our Bible study time. So, so that's what we're doing. Amen. All right. Repeat after me. Our last prayer target. For all my wicked enemies who aim to hurt me, let them receive it back double. Let them receive it back double. Oh, God, punish them. For the evil they have done in the name of Jesus. All right, one last time with holy aggression. Our last prayer target, go hard. For all my wicked enemies who aim to hurt me, let them receive it back double. Let it fall on their heads double. Oh God, punish them for the evil they have done. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Oh God, for all our wicked enemies, for all our wicked enemies who have aimed, they fired in an attempt to hurt us. They've drawn their swords. They've drawn their bow and arrow. Their wicked arrows. To try to shoot it at us. They've aimed to hurt us. But oh God. Let your fire block it. Let it be turned around. 
and let it come back on them double what they tried to sin against us. Let it come back on them double what they spoke against us. Let it come back on them double. Let it come back on them double. Let it fall on their head double time. Double time. Let them get double for their trouble. Let them get double for the trouble they tried to cause in our life. Let them get double for the trouble they tried to cause in our lives. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Punish them. Let them be punished for the evil they've done. Let them be punished for the evil they've done. We strike them. We strike them. We strike them with the sword of Lord. We strike them with the sword of Lord. We send an underground earthquake right now to begin to shake up every demonic foundation that's been established around our lives. Let it be shaken up. Let it be shaken up and destroyed. We shake it up. I shake it up. Every demonic foundation that's been planted around your life. Let it be shaken up. Let it be shaken up. Let it be shaken up and destroyed and destroyed and destroyed right now. Right now, right now, right now, let it be destroyed for all the evil they've done. Let them fall, let them fall, let them fall, let them fall, let them fall. fall. Shake them, oh God. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. We send an earthquake in a realm of the spirit. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake every evil foundation. Let it be destroyed. Let it be dismantled. Whatever foundation they've built it on, let it come crashing down. Whatever they've built on the foundation, let it come crashing down. Whatever the wicked have built on un- under our name, let it come crashing down. Whatever they've built around our lives, let it come crashing down. Let it come crashing down. Every demonic stronghold, let it come crashing down. Let it come crashing down. Let it come crashing down. Let it tumble and fall. Let it tumble and fall. Let it tumble and fall. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it cave in. When they go to their witch's coven, let it cave in and destroy them. Let it cave in and destroy them. Let it destroy their evil pots. Let it destroy the pictures that they have. Let it destroy everything that the charms and the fetishes and everything they use. Let it destroy the evil altars that they use to try to work against us. Let it come crashing down. Let it come crashing down. Let it be a great fall. A great fall. A great fall. Let there be casualties. Let there be casualties. Let there be casualties. They've been warned and warned and warned. And some of them still don't get the message. Let there be casualties. Body bags will be their portion. It will be their portion. If they dare cross the line. If they dare come near us again. If they dare try to attack our families again. Body bags will be their portion. One by one. One after another. After another. After another. After another. After another. Until they will come completely wiped out. Whoever want to come next, who's ever next in line, they'll get the same portion. Whoever comes after them, the same portion. Whoever comes after them, the same portion. Because we're not going anywhere. We're blessed in the scene. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed in our coming and our going. We are the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. We rule and we reign on earth as the manifested sons and daughters of God. And we will not back down. We will not fail because we can't fail. We are too big to fail because we carry the name of Jesus Christ. We're too big to fail. We're too big to fall. But our enemies, let them come crashing and fall. Let them crash and burn. Let them crash and burn. Any witch or warlock who will try to fly over our homes, let them crash and burn. Let them crash and burn. Let them crash and burn. We sell our war cry. Fire, 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 fire. Let them burn. Fire, 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 fire. Let them burn. One more time. Fire, 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 fire. Let them burn. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of 
Jesus. Hallelujah. Give God a hand. Praise for another victory. 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 More casualties. More casualties. And if they want to keep learning the hard way, we'll keep teaching them the hard way. Again, if they want to keep learning the hard way, we'll keep teaching them the hard way. If they want to learn the hard way, we will keep teaching them the hard way. Because we're not going anywhere. We're not going any, anywhere. And we shall get our portion. We shall receive what God has released. Whatever they held up, they delayed, they blocked. You shall see it. You shall see the full manifestation. But I love how God does it. Then the enemy got to pay you back seven times. You won't just get the full manifestation of it. You're going to get the full manifestation of it plus interest. Plus interest. Did you get that? Plus interest. Plus interest. You can live off the interest by itself. Just the interest that they got to pay is enough to shout. So you're getting full manifestation plus the interest. Keep that in mind. Full manifestation plus interest. And again, this is this, this, we're fasting for divine uh, 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 surprise miracles and divine surprises. I expect it in your life. Miracles and divine surprises. I expect it. And I expect it this month. Before this month is out. I expect them, many of them, not one, not one, miracles and divine surprises. It's finding, it knows your address, it's, it's, it's in route, it's here, it's present. And God is opening up your eyes of understanding to see more, to see clear, to see what's going on around you. It's right here, tip your fingertips. It's here, it's here, it's here, repeat that to me, it's here. Say it again. It's here. I didn't say it's coming. I said it is here. Do you understand this? It is here. It is here. Repeat that to me. It is here. You're already walking among it. It's right. It's right here. You, you, you're, it's, it's, it's among you. It's around you. And it's about to engulf you. Did you hear me? It's about to engulf you. It's about to engulf you. God said he's going to wow you. Not just in this year, but in this month. It is going to engulf you. Please understand and hear me under the sound of my voice. The seriousness of what I'm saying. It is going to engulf you. What you've been praying, fasting, warring for. It is going to engulf you. I just keep hearing in my spirit. God said, tell them it's going to engulf them suddenly. You, you, you're going to have the testimonies. Of what it means when, when we say blessings overtaking you. That is what it's going to feel like. Like blessing, like my God, this is, uh, can, I, can, I, can I take any more? I don't know. Can, can I, sure I can. Okay, I, I'm so full, God. I, I'm full, I'm good. I can live off of this. For, but nope, he said, nope, it will engulf you. Did you hear me? It will engulf you. It, I mean, I can't get this out of my spirit. He said, it is going to engulf them. He said, it is here. Don't be fooled by what you see. The enemy wants you to go by what you see. The enemy wants to bite, get you to bite the bait. The enemy wants to get you to bite the bait. Don't bite the enemy's bait. Don't go by what you see. It is here. God is looking at your faith. He's looking at your faith. The enemy wants to get you to step out of faith. Again, do that faith check. You have to do a faith check. Do a faith check. Look at every area in your life. Is there any areas in your life where you're not exercising full faith? In mind, body, soul, and spirit, you're all locked in that this shall manifest. That this is so. Wherever it is lacking, you need to feed it with that word of God. You need to make, write out some declarations, some scripture, and declare and declare it to keep building your faith in that area about that thing. Find scriptures pertaining to that topic and declare it. Speak it. Because you got the warfare. The enemy's going to have to let it go. And faith is another weapon that fights it. We pull out the, 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 the shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the enemy. So, 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 so faith check. This is a faith check. This is a faith check. Faith check. I'm not going to go by what I see. I'm going by what God said. I'm going by what, 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 what the word of God already says. I'm going by what God said about this hour, this season. It will engulf you. 
it would engulf you. It's engulfing you. Even as I speak, it's engulf. It's, it's almost like, you know, someone trying to sneak up on somebody and do a surprise attack. That's how God, he said, this, he said divine surprises. That's what a surprise is. Literally, the blessing, the, it's about it. They all come, it's drawing. It's like a magnet, it's drawing. And, they, and, 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 and they're coming together like a magnet, just, just coming together, just coming together, just coming together, just coming together, getting closer. And it's, coming, and it's going to literally engulf you. Engulf you, and you're gonna, all you're gonna be able to say is, "Wow, wow, 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 God! I gotta take a whoo. Your heart started racing. My God, I gotta take a step back. Wow, wow. He's going to wow you. Believe you me. If you missed, if you didn't see the prophetic word that I released for this year, you need to go back and find it on YouTube, Periscope, Facebook, whatever. The prophetic word of 2018. It'll put it all in perspective for you. Wow, you're being wild. You're being wild in this month." Please say when I say, in this month. Hallelujah. All right, we're about to go into Holy Communion. Amen, Leticia. He's been doing it already. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. So we're about to pray so we can go into Holy Communion. Father God, we praise, we glorify your name right now, God. Right now, we ask you to forgive us of any sins we committed in thought, word, or deed. Search our heart. If there be anything in our heart that's not of you, oh God, we ask you to remove it right now. If we don't want to take of your, the body of of Christ, or uh, the uh, blood of Christ unworthily, so we repent right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for another opportunity to come to your table, to your holy table, to your holy table. You spread it out for us, oh God. There's so many things we can choose from, so many blessings you, you've just pulled out here at the table alone. Healing, deliverance, breakthrough at the table. We thank you, Jesus Christ, for what you did on the cross for us. So we come right now. To commemorate and remember what you did for us and what you're yet still doing today. We receive all that you have, oh God, for you say you daily load us with benefits. And we receive those benefits even right now. We thank you. We love you, oh God. We love you. We, we, we are so happy to be called your children. And we want to make you proud, daddy. We want to make you proud. Continue to use us for your glory. We thank you for this fellowship, this time with you. As we're drawing closer to you at the table, as our soul is being healed at the table with you. As we go deeper into you here at the table, we thank you. We praise you for the revelation that's going to come from just being at the table with you. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify your name now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, and amen. And of course, uh, coming from 1 Corinthians 11. Uh, verse 23 to 26, our theme uh, well, for Holy Communion, one of the, one of the passages in Scripture uh, that, that, that we can use. All right, and it said, For I receive from the Lord that which I also give to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, after he blessed it, he broke it, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this. In remembrance of me. Let us eat together. And it says, after the same manner, you took the cup. And said, so this cup is the New Testament in my blood. Whenever you drink of it, do it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you do show the Lord's death until he returns. Let us all drink together. And what of God says that they went out into the Mount of Olives, they began to sing hymns, songs, began to praise the Lord. So begin to praise God right now. Hallelujah. For what just took place at the table. Praise God for another victory in battle. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. And I'm excited again for your wows, for your testimonies that you're going to be emailed. Remember, email to info. At the coregreen.org because I'm, I'm going to be compiling some and I'm going to be doing uh, uh, special videos on just prayer reports, on testimonies. So that's info at the coregreen.org. How is God wowing you? What testimonies are coming in your life? What breakthroughs are you seeing since you've been praying and going forth uh, uh, during this time? Info at the coregreen.org. That's D O Q U O I G R E E N.org. God bless you. Deb Longo at Deb Longo. That's info at decorygreen.org. So send your testimonies there. 
uh, testimonies of healing, testimonies of deliverance, testimony of miracles, breakthroughs, etc. Though how you've been wild. Amen. So, so send your testimonies there, and I'm going to be doing special videos uh, uh, weekly. Special videos weekly uh, very soon just on testimonies. That's something we're going to be doing just on testimonies because that continue to build the faith of others. Amen. Amen. So, again, uh, tomorrow, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, for what's tomorrow going to be? Day number, I think, day number six. Yes, day number six of our, our, our prayer uh, and warfare. And then we're going to be tomorrow at 6 o'clock p.m. 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on tomorrow uh, for day number six of our prayer and warfare, miracles and divine surprises. And then after that, uh, it's going to be next Monday at 6 and then next Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. for our normal Bible study time. And then the following week, we'll get back to our normal actual Bible study. So this Tuesday again today and then next Tuesday, we're still going to be doing prayer and warfare, doing our normal Bible study time on Tuesdays at 7.30 uh, and then we'll get back to normal Bible study. But again, tomorrow, 6 o'clock p.m. Amen. Yes, send it in, Letitia. Uh, so tomorrow, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Remember that you are the breath of God, and God never wastes a breath. This is Apostle DeCore Green sign out. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. I'll see you tomorrow evening. Good night. Right now, God, let it chase us down, oh God. The miracles, oh God, let it manifest in our life. For we are blessed. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed in our coming and our going. We thank you, oh God. We receive the blessings. We receive the overflow. Now, right now, right now, right now. The commanded blessing, oh God, we command it upon us. We speak to creation right now to release what God has already sent to us. We speak to the moon.